Hey hackers, the coding kid here. Movement is what makes platformers fun. From Celeste's fluid controls, Hollow Knight's highly responsive jump, or Super Meat Boy's precise platforming. These games slightly bend the laws of physics and use invisible tricks to create satisfying movement and tight controls. Movement will shape your game, which is why having great movement is vital to creating an incredible platforming experience. In this video, I'm going to show you 7 ways to level up your platformer character in no time with Godot using GDScript. I created a demo that you can play online and I have the full Godot project with code on GitHub. Links in the description below. Let's get started! Variable Jump Height This will make the game feel snappier and more precise by giving the player more control over the jump. When the player releases the jump button, the character should start falling. This allows the player to make jumps of different heights. Godot lets us add this behaviour with a couple of lines of code. If input dot is action just released, jump, then slow the velocity and let gravity do the rest. Air resistance. This makes the movement feel less rigid. That's important because if the player releases the move button while in the air and the character falls to a halt instantly, it feels unnatural, like this. To fix this, we can lerp velocity.x when in the air. If not is on floor, then velocity.x is assigned to lerp previous velocity.x, velocity.x, and lerp it by an amount of 0 0.1. Lerping just moves a value from A to B by C, so it'll move previous velocity.x 10% of the way to velocity.x. The previous velocity variable is easy to set. Initialize it to vector2.0, and at the end of each physics process, set it to velocity. Another trick to add juice to your game is squish and stretch. This can be implemented using the animation player node. Create an animation called jump. In here, we will first stretch our character. After stretching our character, we can then squish it back to normal. Before and after. Why Velocity Lurping? This will smooth the jump and fall, making the movement feel more realistic. This is also done using lurping, but this time with the Y Velocity. Air Hang This makes the character hang in the air for longer, at the peak of the jump, which makes the character feel more graceful. Here is an exaggerated example. If the absolute value of velocity.y is less than 50, then slow down to exaggerate the peak. Otherwise, set the gravity back to normal. Coyote time. This trick helps compensate for slightly mistimed jumps. This makes the game more forgiving and less frustrating. Here's an example of not having coyote time. The player runs off a ledge, then airborne, the player presses jump but nothing happens, even though the player is only slightly off the ledge. However, with Coyote Time, the game will allow the player to jump for a short period after the character has moved off a ledge, like this. Here's how you implement it. If the player was in the air and jump was pressed, and the time since the player was on floor is less than Coyote Time, then jump. Jump Buffer. This makes the game more realistic and responsive, and forgives the player for making small mistakes, just like Coyote Time. If the player falls downwards, and presses jump slightly before hitting the ground, when the character hits the ground, the character will jump. This is how you implement it. If the player just hit the floor, and the time since the last jump press is less than the jump buffer time, then jump. 
that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let me know about any other tips in the comments. Bye!